Welcome to Local Fish Store World Travel. newest local fish stores, Ocean View Aquariums. As some of you already know, this year, MACNA was held in Miami slash Fort Lauderdale slash Hollywood, Florida. <laughs> While I was there, I got to get a little tan at the beach, but I can tan. Got a little workout in, Hey, no wide shots. This is embarrassing, let's hurry up and move on. Andro is the owner of Ocean View Aquariums, one of the coolest guys I've ever met. He's actually the first owner of a fish store to actually explore the city with me. So before we toured his store, we decided to take a trip to Miami's Museum of Science Sea Lab exhibit, voted Miami Science Museum's most popular exhibition. The Sea Lab includes a 3,000 gallon touch tank, as well as other intricate, lovely tanks and hand on exhibits. At this station, they are actually growing corals. A lot of the corals here were donated as frags by the local hobbyists of Miami. This next exhibit is a beautiful reef tank and was donated by Christine and Nicholas Lee. In this exhibit, they are using fish waste to grow and provide nutrients for plants. The museum will soon be moving to a new home. The Miami Museum of Science is currently a modest 48,000 square feet. However, the finished project of the Patricia and Philip Frost Museum of Science is, well, let's just say it will be a lot bigger. The Patricia and Philip Frost Museum of Science has a lot more than just fish. But hey, we're fish lovers over here. So let's take a look at those projects. The museum is currently in construction and will be creating an exhibit called the Living Core Exhibit, which is an aquarium that penetrates through multiple floors and includes windows on the side and underneath to provide unique views of the wildlife. And you thought your tank bill was extreme. They plan to complete this project by 2015. All right, let's head to the main attraction, which is Ocean View Aquarium. So why don't you tell us a little bit about your store and you know kind of what got you into the business. Sure. Um, well we've been here a year now and um, I would pretty much say we came in trying to change the look in Miami. You know um, I wanted a clean fresh look. I uh, wanted to be able to, to market it right for all the hobbyists out there. Uh, we're very uh, hobby friendly. We try to you know do a lot of different events in the sense of you know specials and if you're part of the reef club local reef club you get discounts uh, we do a lot of servicing so it's 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 a a big part of you know the reef society here in miami we custom make almost all our furniture uh, we use um, a couple of different uh, tank designers uh, reef savvy is one of the, the big ones we use uh, in miami 
but yeah, we do everything. I mean, we set you up, we sit you down, we pretty much uh, find out what you're looking for, what kind of tank do you want, if you just want a fish only system, if you want a reef tank, we discuss everything from A to Z. All right, so this is my first Magnum. And have you ever been to Magnum before? No, it's gonna be my first one. I'm okay. excited. All right, well, so now my day one of Magnum is gonna be all about Magna movies. So why don't we uh, do a local fish store travel that's a little bit different and why don't you tell us how you try to help new people to the hobby. Your favorite fish right. you know, uh, for beginners, your favorite corals for the beginners. Okay this is a Yuma. Um, I love the Yumas especially for new tanks. They're, uh, they're in the mushroom family so they're, they're very easy to, uh, to get into your system and to, so it acclimates correctly. Mushrooms, leather, zoos are more of the popular stuff we try to uh, recommend to our beginning customers. Um, they're a lot easier, they don't require um, you know, such uh, expensive lighting, so they can get really started in, in the basic stuff. Um, you know, we got a variety of different stuff, chalices, uh, leathers, mushrooms. Uh, we, got, we always have a big selection of zoos in the store. Uh, we have a really big uh, frag section. Uh, to get everybody started in, they'll uh, you know not everybody wants to to buy a you know a sixty seventy dollar piece of coral, so they can start off with a frag to see how their tank is, how they're doing, and uh, you know that's just an easy way to get started. Okay, so there's a variety of different starter fish. Uh, Danzels are pretty popular because their price range is very affordable. We personally don't like to recommend them uh, to start your tank because they do get aggressive. But you know they're they're a great fish. They're hardy. Uh, I have customers that just have danzels in their tank. That's what they want. So we give them a variety of different danzels. Um, you know they come from all different reefs, and you're able to put them in the same tanks as long as you got you know a lot of rock and stuff like that where they they seem safe and they don't get stressed out. You can thrive with them. But like I said, we really don't like to uh, recommend them right off the bat because they do get aggressive and they will attack other fish. I'm ready. Okay, these are, you know, tank raised uh, clownfish uh, from a local breeder. Um, we have great success. They're great fish to uh, put into a, a tank to start it cycling. Most, you know, customers I don't recommend putting in the danzels because they get kind of aggressive and then they're kind of hard to get out. So I always recommend a, a fish that they're going to eventually put into their tank. And uh, the clownfish are great, and when they're tank raised, they thrive more. Okay, so this is one of the tanks that we carry uh, our bigger fish. Right now it's kind of empty, but normally we have a big selection in here. Um, you know, from the sailfin tang to the blue throat. Um, we also have a hulligan tusk in the back. All right, so this is a magnificent fox face. It's, uh, it's pretty rare. It's not a uh, common fish you're gonna see every day. It's a great fish for reef tanks. Uh, you know, they're beautiful fish. They get lots of colors. Here's a, a purple tang that, uh, you know, we hand select all our fish. Uh, really healthy. He came uh, first day eating with no issues. You know, it's great fish for your reef tank. Swims around a lot, very, very active fish. Now, when it comes to lights for hobbyists, there's so many to choose from now, which is awesome because my favorite, one of my favorite things in the hobby is the actual equipment for right. the hobby. So, what kind of lights are you recommending now for newbies? Are you going with the LEDs? Are you going with T5s? Yeah, I, I definitely recommend the LEDs. Uh, there's so many brands out there. Um, you just got to pick what, what works for you. Um, you know, I've gone through every stage of lighting my, myself uh, from, you know, T5s to power compacts to metal highlights and LED. And uh, we always try to recommend the LED for two simple reasons. One, it's, uh, it's easy uh, to work with. Um, the light looks amazing when it hits the water. Also, you don't have to be replacing light bulb, but there's something for everybody, you know. We can start off with a two gallon tank all the way up to as big as they want to go, you know. We, we service a lot of tanks, I was telling you before, and we service an 800 gallon shark tank. And, you know, that's a pretty big tank, so, 
you know, they can decide what they really want to do and we, we help them out. You know, we, we talk about filtration, we talk about lighting, uh, size of the tank, where the tank is going to be placed in their home to make sure it's not getting a lot of sunlight because, you know, all those things, you know, bring up problems if you don't place the tank where it needs to be. You know, and we really guide them uh, down the path for, for great success. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in. So when you get a chance, check out Ocean View Aquarium's Facebook page. Would appreciate you checking out my Facebook page as well. If this is your first time watching one of my videos, please consider subscribing. And until next time, this is The Ultimate Hobby.